Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you all how amazing and powerful the Atom text editor is. Before I get started, I just want to say there is no right or wrong editor or IDE, just choose the one that makes you productive. Just to briefly explain what Atom is as a whole, let's go to their website. So, Atom is a free and open source text editor created by the people at GitHub. It's available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Atom is a highly configurable text editor and I would say just as highly configurable as Sublime Text and the Emacs and Vim text editors which have been around for over 20 years. I know that's a bold statement, but you'll see why. Now that you know what Atom is, let's dive right on in. So after you install the Atom text editor, this is what your editor is going to look like. So first I want to start off by showing you where you can change your settings for Atom, install packages, themes, see your keyboard shortcuts, and things of that sort. So if I hit command comma, we're taken to the settings view and here there is a lot of settings I'm just gonna cover two um, so here's the font size its default is 14 but if I want to change it to something larger 20 BAM there you have it one of my favorite features is scroll past end and that allows the editor to be scroll past the end of the last line so let's see that in action so scroll past end without that you would usually have to hit enter to make space for your view, so that's really useful. Shout out to Travis from the Dev Tips channel who showed me this tip. Next, I want to take you through the key bindings. These are all the commands that are available through Atom. You can filter through them too. That's pretty much it. Next, we have the packages, and here you can see the packages that you've installed and the core packages which come pre installed with Atom. You can disable the core packages, some of them, or the ones that you don't want, uninstall and enable the ones you have installed. One cool thing about Atom Search is that it has fuzzy search, so I know that I have a package called Quick, Quick File Actions, so I just had to type in QF and it knew that was the package I was talking about. Next we have themes. The theme that comes by default is Atom Dark. I've pre-installed Atom Material my favorite UI theme and just like that we change the whole look of our editor bam that's the money right there and I'm gonna enable duotone dark space another theme that I installed now my editor looks very nice so I'm gonna keep this theme for the rest of the video next we have the updates tab that will show you up for packages I have all my packages up to date so nothing to see there next we have the install tab where you can search for themes and packages let's search for something random like a terminal here you'll see all the packages related to what I just typed in a lot of people put gifs videos and images of their packages so that's really great likewise with the themes duo tone here you'll see what UI themes look like. People are very nice and they put images. So that's the core experience of Atom. Now I'm gonna take you to the packages that I have installed. The first package up is called File Icons. I've preloaded a project with multiple file types here. So I'm gonna look up File Icons, enable it, and as you can see here, file type icons were added based off the extensions of the files. I really like this because it allows me to visually glance at my editor and know which type of files are in a certain area. And if I do command P for the global project search, they also show up here. The next two packages are highlight line and highlight selected. Here I have a CSS file open and I'll have the packages over here. And what Highlight Line does is add a nice decoration on the bottom and top of my highlight selection. Highlight selected highlights every occurrence of a word throughout a file. You can also change the background colors for Highlight Line and Highlight Selected. The next packages are Set Syntax and File Size. So Set Syntax sets the syntax for a file. If you who are familiar with Sublime Text will feel right at home. So. I have set syntax installed, so let's say I'm typing some JavaScript. 
and I want the syntax highlighting so usually you would have to save the file um, with the JS file extension or now that we have set syntax just type in set syntax JavaScript the other package I wanted to show you is called file size it provides useful information for a given file now let's take a look at linter which checks against stylistic and program errors so first you need to install a base linter and then other language specific linters and this for example here is showing I have an error because I don't have the doc type declared I forgot a semicolon here and forgot to close that and a semicolon here it's really helpful and saves a lot of time in the long run Markdown Preview is a package that comes pre-installed with Atom and it allows you to preview your Markdown files. So if I just type in Preview and go to Markdown Preview, I can preview what I've written, which is pretty nice. Next package is called Atom Runner, which allows you to run your scripts inside of Atom. So here I have a JavaScript, Python, and Ruby file. And I'm going to run these files. And you can see the output right inside of Atom, so you don't even have to leave your text editor, which is pretty nice. The next two packages are REST Client and Atom Live Server, and this spawns a server with live reload capabilities. So if I go to my application, here I have the data coming from the server. And if I open REST client, I have my data from my server. And for the live reload capabilities, change the background from gray to red. And there you have it. The next packages are Browser Plus and Open in Browser. Browser Plus actually allows you to open a browser window inside of your editor and Open in Browser simply adds the feature to the menu to Open in Browser. So if I open a browser, here I have my file. I can enable Live Reload. I can also inspect elements in here and go to google.com. The next set of packages are related to the Git version control system. So we're going to cover Git clone, Git plus, Git time machine, and merge conflicts. I'm not going to cover this one because I don't want to replicate a merge conflict. That's a bit hard. But here you can visually resolve your merge conflicts, as you can see here. So. I'm going to go to a repository that I have. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to use the first package called git clone. Now I can simply just type in the git URL, hit enter. It starts cloning my repository and it loads it up in my text editor. Alright, so I have these files. I'm going to make some quick changes. And there's a change. I'm going to add that change through git plus. Just say git add. And it adds my file. I can git commit from here. And I can git push. Cool. Looks like it pushed it. Let's see if that shows up in the browser nice 17 seconds ago or if you're dangerous you can get add commit and push at the same time so that was get plus let's see if the changes went up they did Git Time Machine allows you to see your history of commits on a file. So I made a recent change here. 
and I made a change about a month ago and I want to see what that file looks like and it shows me the 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 diff or the the changes that I've made between these two dates so those are my git packages walk a time is a program that gathers metrics and insights about your programming activity inside of Atom I can see how long I've spent programming, what languages I've been programming in, and other interesting things. And this is absolutely free. Next we have Jumpy, which is a package that creates dynamic hotkeys to jump around files. This is a, a package that I recently found and it's freaking amazing. So if I hit the Jumpy command, you can see that dynamic hotkeys have been added. And what this is useful for is jumping around different files. So if I want to jump to my CSS, just hit the command, go back to jumpy, hit DT to go to my file over here. And now I'm in my JavaScript file and I didn't even have to move my mouse. Another really great package is called Terminal Plus and this allows you to spawn a terminal from within your project directory. So, I'm going to start a new terminal session, I'm going to install a new npm package, fire it up here, and then use it down here, and run the file. As you can see, I have Lodash working. You can also have other tabs, switch between them. If I wanted to run a Python server on a file, I can in this tab and use this for another task. The next package is called TurnJS and it's an autocomplete engine for JavaScript. So here I have a file. I have some variables defined. If I type in people and then do dot, I can see the methods that are available to me based off the variables type. It's also it allows you to find other definitions in your project. So if I hit a command, I can see that this is a global variable and this is also defined in my sumfile.js. And it says this one is local. And I see that this takes in a number. It's pretty cool. All these methods. I can also see documentation. That's pretty cool. The next two packages are color picker and pigments. So what pigments does is outlines the colors that you have available in your files. And you can also see where they're defined everywhere else in your project. And you can even jump to these definitions directly. What color picker does is brings up a color picker which is pretty cool one of the packages that I really like is turbo JavaScript and they have snippet packages for other languages and frameworks like Python Django everything else in between the snippet packages lower the amount of typing you have to make So those are snippet packages. The next package is Atom Beautify and this package beautifies HTML, CSS, Python, Java, pretty much every language. Here this HTML code is messy but let me beautify that. Same with this JavaScript file. Aligner, as the name says, aligns my content and CSS clean makes my CSS look better. All right, that wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna keep up with my other videos. My next video is gonna be on programming and computer productivity tools, so it's gonna be nice. Details about the video and where you can find me on social media are in the description below. All right, 
Thank you for watching.